Hello YouTube, Roland from Rush Faster here. How's it going? Now, I finished school a long time ago, but I remember the most exciting part of starting a new school year was the possibility of getting new school gear, getting a new backpack, uh, some pencil cases, some pouches perhaps, and whatever other goodies that I needed to sort of go ahead and get an education for life. Now, education has probably changed a lot since I was at school and hopefully improved, but as the father of two kids currently in daycare and in the blink of an eye will be at school, I am starting to consider their carry needs, so I was super excited when Teeny Pack reached out to me and sent me their latest creation. We're gonna take a look through it today. Welcome to Rush Faster. At Rush Faster, we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. If you want a PhD in EDC, like, subscribe, bell, newsletter, Classes in session. So when I was at school, we had these terrible square backpacks. They were hideous. You'd load them up with your textbooks, a folder, a Tamagotchi, a Nokia 5110. There was no organization. The material would disintegrate really quickly. They were uncomfortable. The straps were awful and they only came in blue. Now, if you're a carry enthusiast, mum or dad like I am, you probably want your little crotch goblins to be equipped with something a bit more interesting or at least some more functionality or some history. But then you also don't want to be spending a fortune on it either because they that they ruin stuff. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Teeny Pack and all the accessories they've sent me as well. This is up on Kickstarter, they've launched today. So um, jump on there and check it out. This is clearly designed by a serious carry enthusiast and it is basically a, it's a high-end carry nerd backpack for your school kids. Let's check it out. So out of Vietnam, Hong is a father of two sons and a founder of Teeny Pack. He couldn't find a suitable school bag for his kids, so he designed one himself, naturally. Hong says that Teeny Pack is the lightest, most ergonomic backpack, and it's at the forefront of personalized and flexible design with easy to attach accessories. So we're gonna take a look at it. Now, it comes in a range of colors. This is the black and green, but it also comes in a pink, a light blue, and a navy. It's 15 litres and it's made with 600D polyester fabric and a water resistant PU coating on the external fabric. The internal fabric is a 210D polyester on that internal lining there. So that's also waterproof. YKK zippers all around, Wujin plastic hardware and get this, Fidlock magnetic locks on a school bag for kids. Are you kidding? I love that. The Teeny Pack does a good job of standing up on its own and it's quite lightweight at 660 grams. And you can customize it with your kid's personality with all these fun little patches that they sell. Or you could just buy other patches and stick it on there. There are two water bottle pockets on either side. I've been able to fit this sort of fairly sizable kid's bottle in there. And these align with insulating materials. So I guess the idea is that it will keep your kids' uh, drinks cool for longer, which is, which is always good on those hot days. There's plenty of stretchy mesh on these pockets to help get your water bottles of all sizes in and out. And then on both of these sides, there's these sort of hidden little pockets here, which you could put some, you could stash something in there. Just check them for raisins occasionally. The back panel is quite interesting and probably one of the most sophisticated back panels that I've ever seen on a school bag. Starting off over here, we have a little lanyard for, um, I guess, bus passes or school identification, and then that clips off with a Fidlock accessory as well. This can also be used as a wallet, so you can store, I guess, a little bit of cash or, or anything in there. That's really cool. Of course, there's some reflectors for visibility. There's this Fidlock sternum strap, which is said to be easily used with one hand, and of course it is, and that's adjustable. These straps are quite wide and have some padding in them, and there's some airflow channels on the back of the mesh. On the back panel, you can see that there is quite a lot of airflow. This is a key part of the system. Hong wants you to be able to run around with this, get sweaty, and it still be comfortable. And these big cushy pieces of back paneling are gonna help that as well. There is a frame sheet in there. It's not too firm, but it's firm enough to give it plenty of structure. And then there's these little clips here, which you will have noticed. More on that in a moment. The grab handle at the top is covered in some mesh padding to make it nice and comfortable to grab. Moving to the front, we have some more of that reflective material, which is of course very important for visibility, especially if your child is walking home and it's starting to get dark. And then we have this nice big D-shaped entrance to the main compartment, which very smooth YKK zips, and then quite easy to access and get into the main compartment there. There's a little see-through pocket at the top, They've put in uh, a little schedule, which I think is clever, but you can of course put anything in there that suits. And then you'll see that there is a decent amount of space in here. And I've packed this out with what I 
with what I had. <laughs> so I've just got a bucket hat in there, of course, for sun protection, um, a textbook, uh, pathological fungi, very important to um, stay on top of that. I have these two teeny pack pouches that they've also sent me. I'll go into those in a moment, but you can personalize them with patches, which is great. And then there's this organizer on the inside, which they call the tiny file, and that's removable. But this is, this is basically a place to maybe put some textbooks or some documents, and then it fits this 14 inch MacBook Pro in there too. So plenty of space in there. And this is cool because this can actually be used as a small light backpack. You can also use it as a sling if you just need to go to, from class to class, I guess, and you want to take all of your essentials with you. You can do that. It closes up and it actually, <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a packable bag inside your backpack. So there you can see there's plenty of room on the inside and a few elastic pockets where you can just pop other bits and pieces if you'd like. These two pouches are great accessories for your kids to have. Firstly, they match and they look awesome. They're made to the same standard as the, as the teeny pack. This one is for your protractor and compass and all sorts of bits and pieces. And there's a nice little ruler slot in the back as well. So I really like the size of that. I might steal that for myself. And then this is the pencil case. Again, lovely and slim as a pouch. And you can see that they've put the pencils in there and everything's got a nice little bit of organization with these elastic loops. So that is fantastic. But that's not all that the Teeny Pack has to offer. Another accessory is this sort of smaller bag. Now this can be used as a lunch pack or, or a bag on its own or just to carry a spare change of clothes, whatever else your child needs. It can be used as a backpack itself or it can be connected to the front of the pack and then your child is able to carry everything together all at once. That looks a little bit messy there, but I'll throw up some photos from their website of somebody carrying it and you can see just how functional that is. This is accessible from both sides through zippered pockets, so no problems accessing it while it's on the body. And it just goes to show you the thought that, that Hong has put into the design of this. He's really covered off every possible situation that his child could come into and I really think that he's nailed it. This is a very clever modular system. I don't think I've seen anything like it before for school children. Teeny Pack has created a fun and functional school backpack and I think a lot of kids and parents are going to appreciate this. It's good to see a problem being identified and solved by a member of this community. So well done to you Hong. Now if you are a hardcore bag parent and you want to get your kids something special, I've rounded up a few other packs that we can look at and these will also work as school bags. In fact, some of them were originally designed as school bags. Of course, the Fjord Raven Classic was designed in Sweden in the 70s to help school kids with their back problems previous to the, the Kunken being released in Sweden. School kids were just carrying their, their books in their hands or sometimes on a belt. This was in the 70s. It sounds like something out of the uh, 1900s or something, but that's what they were doing. Anyway, really interesting pack, you know, and holds up to today's looks. I don't know if it holds up today's, to today's uh, functionality, especially not when compared to the teeny pack, but uh, waterproof material and obviously an icon. Another pack you could take a look at if you are a carry enthusiast mum or dad is the Jansport Super Break. Jansport have a similar history to Fjord Raven in that they were instrumental in bringing backpacks to school children, this time of course in America. These come with a uh, really good uh, warranty and they are now environmentally manufactured. Again, not nearly as much going on as the teeny pack, but uh, a good option and usually quite an affordable one. Now, if your school age children are a little bit older, perhaps entering high school or maybe even looking at college, not too far away, then something like the Bellroy classic backpack is another really good option. This is environmentally made out of uh, upcycled water bottles, so good for the environment. Really nice back padding, really lovely materials, and there's some organization on the inside, and it just looks a little bit more sophisticated and comes in a range of colors that are altogether more mature. So if you do have an older child, uh, I think the Bellroy is worth looking at. A little bit more expensive, but should last them a really long time and take them maybe even right up until their first job out of high school or out of university. And then this one's a little bit out of left field. This is the Track Fingal, um, but I've, I've shared it because it's only a 13 litre day pack, so it is a bit on the smaller side. Has a laptop compartment on the inside, not a lot of organization though, but is a really lovely pack. And if you have a particular type of, uh, of child, then, then this might be something that appeals to them. 
Again, a little bit more on the expensive side, but this is probably more for you, mum and dad, than it is for them, let's be honest here. A few other honorable mentions that I don't have on hand because they're not currently available, um, but if you can find them, they are really cool. GORUCK some time ago released a KR1, which was a 13 litre kids backpack that came in some playful colors and it was, was of course built to the GORUCK standard. And then Tom Bin also used to have something called the Sprout. Of course, it was smaller than a lot of their other packs, but just as fun. There are links to everything that I've mentioned in the description, so have a look, explore, and if you do make a purchase, it goes a long way to supporting the work that we do here at Rush Faster, so we appreciate that. Until the next one, I'm Roland from Rush Faster, and this was the Teeny Pack. Take care.